everybody. This is Bo. We're back in the sports lounge. We're going to shoot this signal to talk to head football coach Steve Quinn from Southern Arkansas University. How you doing, coach, this morning? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. A little bit hot down here in the south. <laughs> it's been really hot down south in the north and midwest. We've actually had snow about four weeks ago, or predicted to have it, and we've got pretty mellow temperatures right now. Oh, but it must be nice. I tell you what, it's going to be a hot year. It, it may be enough where the, the head coach goes down during two days. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. You know, in these type of weathers, it's always nice because you look across at the football field and you've got those football players in pads panting and breathing and oxygen and water. And uh, it, it's it's a very it, a very nice process, <laughs> to say the very yeah, least. Yeah, I, I promise you. And then there, ever since we put the turf in, our, our guys, they're not sure if they like it during two days or not. Yeah, well, I watched the players go do the bear crawls last year because last year was a little warmer than this one, and you watch them in full pads do the bear crawl across the entire football field, and you can see the guys' hands just screaming because the astral turf is so hot on that new field. No, there's absolutely no doubt about that. But uh, they, they've been good, though. They've adjusted well, and uh, that's one thing we don't get a whole lot of complaints about. They don't complain about the heat too much. So, Still about that eighth or ninth day when it starts getting a little bit of fatigue. But they, <laughs> they all kids have done a good job with it, though. You know, the other thing that I marvel at athletes, especially in, in football programs, because of all the training they do in the off season and then in practice, is when I hear people um, give athletes a hard time about um, the scholarships, about working. I mean, really, these football players you have in your squad, this is their profession. Even though they're an amateur athlete, they work so hard at what they do on that football field. It is a sheer marvel um, of how much time that you all put into it and the football players. I mean, it, it, it's got to be impressive to watch those freshmen step on the court field and then their seniors and they leave and how far they've grown in this just rugged sport. Well, it really is. I think that's the fun part of coaching is to is kind of watch kids develop, players develop, and, the, and young men. But, you know, people get uptight on the scholarship issue and, you know, these guys put an awful lot of time in, you know, on their own and above and beyond what we demand. Of course, you've got the NCAA limits, you know, but in, in Division two, you know, a lot of scholarships are broken up anyway, so you've got kids out here busting their tail, you know, 20 hours a week, you know, on the NCAA minimum, then what they do in the summer for extra work. You know, they may only be getting four or $5,000 worth of scholarship, and, you know, they, they could have gone and worked a, a job and got more, more money than that. So, really... Yeah, the scholarships that maybe work a little bit, but at, at the Division Two level, hey, these guys are still playing for the love of the game. They're not just playing for the money. You know, and I think the other thing.